Hi guys, this is Sarah with Sarah Lee Crochet and Fabrics and I just wanted to show you guys what I bought today. Today was my one day shopping so I got up pretty early to try to beat crowds so I've been up since around 8 o'clock and right now it's like 12.30 so I'm done for the day. I just got my finishing day caramel iced coffee from Starbucks and then I always get a big old cup of water as well for no cost. You might as well. And then I got a brownie that I haven't eaten yet and I always get that warm. So the first store I went to was Burlington by my home and Burlington carries um, hair products for my type of hair, um, a specific brand that I like, and it's usually quite cheap there. So I went there and got two products. I don't know if you can see it, but this is it. It's called, it's by, it's called Aunt Jackie's Curls and Coils, and it says Curl La La on the top. And it was $3.99 for this. And then I also got the moisturizing shampoo, and this is for also my type of hair, which needs a lot of moisture. So that's what I bought, $3.99 each. And then also what I got from... Was that it for Burlington? Yeah, that was it for Burlington. Yeah, that was it. And then I went to Marshalls. It was my next stop. And what I got was this. If you can see it, it's called All Lots. Or All Lates. I don't know what the proper name is of it, but it is my favorite, favorite cream. It is amazing. Um, it is from Scot Scotland. Yeah, Fine Soaps. Scottish Fine Soap Company. It's a little hard to find at times. And so I usually try to track it at Ross or Marshalls or somewhere like that. And um, they have the best prices. This is four four ninety nine because usually you actually have to get this overseas and have them ship it to you. So it's a really thick, if you can see, really thick cream consistency. This particular um, one is almond, so it is just really luxurious. I just love it. And then also what I got at Marshalls, I've been wanting to get into eye makeup because I, I have no idea. I really don't wear eye makeup. And so I figured out why not get into it. I'm going to be taking a trip soon to New Orleans. And if you know anything about New Orleans. If you want to be outrageous as far as your makeup and whatever, that is the place to do it. So everybody's really vibrant. And so I figured, why not? So this is the palette that I got. It's called Intrigued. And it looks like that. So it's pretty much all of the colors. So I thought that would be pretty cool. It was $5.99. No, $6.99. $6.99 at Marshall. So I will go ahead and try that, see how it works. And it should be okay. Then I went to my Hobby Lobby Clearance Center. If you don't know, it is um, Hobby Lobby in my state. This is where their home office is. They have a clearance center where they mark everything down. I think they ship it from the stores. Items that I marked down discontinued. So I've been making the mermaid dolls and I've always, as a child, even way before, you know, the movies, I've been fascinated with mermaids. I'm from West Africa. So mermaids have always been part of my culture. So I did find this, which is a cute little mermaid tail. And this was $1.60 for that one. And then I did find a similar one. Is it the same? It's not exactly the same, but they are similar. You can see, yeah, that's how they look like. So they have just a little bit of difference to them. And then I also found this one. I don't know if I would keep this as a keychain or what it looks like as a keychain. And it's the mermaid tail. And then it is a star charm. And then it has a little mermaid kisses um, written on there. So it's a really, really cute little mermaid tail, so. Yeah, oh, you guys can see that okay. There you go. I think that's better. So yeah, so this was two forty, and then um, the other two right here, this was a dollar sixty each. So okay, there we go. Yeah. And as you know, the dolls I've been making like crazy. So I did find they have some doll eyes that was a little bit smaller because I usually get my doll safety eyes from Amazon. Um, but the way Amazon, as far as the, the place I get it from, is all the same size. So that was the cheapest option. So I did find some that was a little bit cheaper this so these are 12 millimeter the one i bought from amazon are 16. so i did find these and they're just brown eyes and these were 80 cents each i found two packs that was all they had in that size and then i've been purchasing these forever they're just they're called love spell they're i believe this oil is for like candle making or um, soap making but i use it in my um, warmer it was a quarter each i guess they're trying to get rid of them so i just bought two more i already have um, some at home so I just bought two more for a quarter each and then I went to their craft section, no books their craft book section and I know I already know how to make dolls but how could I not I might have to do this in a giveaway but look at that super cute some dolls there and it was five dollars and twenty cents so these are really really cute I like them because they're not as detailed um, so hopefully they're a little quicker to make than the dolls I'm making now um, because a gentleman that owns a store um, contacted me and asked if I wanted to put some of my dolls in his store. Um, I'm still waiting to contact him back because I have to kind of figure out a price point. So I may, I'll probably do that today and then I will also send him 
pictures of the dolls I have because I think with him he doesn't he loves the dolls and he understands they're handmade but he doesn't understand like the time frame to make the dolls even though they look they may look relatively small um, they are time consuming so I won't be able to do a certain price range with them you know even though it'll be purchased you know without shipping and all of that but yeah I kind of have to discuss that with him and see if that'll be something that works for him or I would just continue to have my dolls online where you know they have more um traction and people are able to see them more and I'm selling better that way anyway so I'll talk to him and see you know maybe I'll do a situation where I'll just take one doll and then do like a display with my um, card and lead them to my store once they can see the doll in person so that may be something I would do um so I just kind of need to look into it but anyway that is all I got guys oh I did go grocery shopping spend 40 bucks on two bags yeah but anyway <laughs> that's neither here or there everybody have a beautiful day enjoy yourself and I'll talk to you guys later bye